Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Masquerade Songs and Shadows. Let's go ahead and jump back into our coach here and head off. Where did you go? Oh, except the twins aren't here. I've seen how he is. He's a good man, Elena. Even good men have standards. I hope you're not talking about me. Sir. Sir? We were just nothing. You were just nothing? Well, if that's really the case. We'd like to practice the visifer, sir. Brother! Both of you? I apologize, sir. My brother... Let him speak. Yes, the both of us, sir. Uh, Meliari for myself and Messaniari for my sister. Well, uh, if you want to practice the visifer, you're going to need a piece of equipment from a masquerada, aren't you? Yes, sir, but we understand if you don't want to do this. After all, we have nothing to our name and no credentials and... Will this do? Sir... That's not an answer. What? Uh, it would do fantastically, sir. There's enough space for the inscriptions involved in Meliare. And the blade is more than enough to paint on. Are you sure, sir? Well, the worst that could happen is I get an ugly blade back, isn't it? All right. Just a minute, sir. We'll do some basic forms. Little unclear what he handed off. Oh, his own now, blade. Now, the moment of truth. Hmm. The energies do flow smoother. It worked, brother. I don't believe it. Thank you, sir. Well, if there's anything more I can do... Sigils, sir. Anything that has complicated Dementicate symbols. I'd like to try my hand at the more complex workings. Well, I'll keep an eye out. And you, Elena? If you could find plants of the more exotic variety, I could use their dyes. A larger palette drastically alters the effects of Messaniare. I'll bring back anything I can find. Now... Hold on. Since you're both trained in the Visiva, you think you could handle this? Raw masquerines. I don't intend on getting bogged down with the documentation if I have to go through the registry's artisan to get these touched up. Ha. Sir, this is basic work. We can get these up to scratch in no time. Good. Until then, however, we have business to attend to. Where, sir? An establishment called the Bleeding Beetle. You know of it? It's one of our favorite haunts, sir. Excellent. Off we go then. Okay, so we're gonna have collectibles. The Vesivia revolve around aesthetically enhancing the equipment of the Masquerada, from their wardrobe to the weapons of the Masquerines even, in order to bolster their abilities. These augmentations take the form of engravings in Miller and painted symbols in Messonaire, and both assist the Masquerada who wears the equipment to better channel their powers. The Vesivia are unique among the Midia, for the engravings need necessarily be performed by a person in possession of a masquerine. Yes, a masquerine is needed in order to benefit from the augmentations, but the actual process of the application of such enhancements can be done by even Constanati, however rare that might be. The kids might have a thriving business possibility there. They should look into that instead of doing the test like the, the brother doesn't seem to have any hope of passing his calculus exams, so he should just focus on what he's good at. And here we go. Speaking to the twins outside the Astigori will allow you to equip the various inks and engravings that you find during your travels around the city. In order to harness the effects of either an ink or an engraving, one must be paired with the other. The chosen engraving increases the character's base damage by a specified percentage, while at the same time determining the probability that an auto attack will trigger the effects of the chosen ink. Interesting. I don't think we've actually gotten any ink, but I guess we can look. No ink equipped. Okay. We at least have one. A lot of different possibilities there. So, 2% mass charge. That's not too bad. We know about Zoe. And that's it. You know what? I'll go ahead and put Zoe on. Plus 25% damage, 20% product. That actually sounds really good. Let's totally do that. Done. I don't think we have anything for anybody else right now, though. Oh, no. We still have this here. I guess we can keep doing it. Okay. So, it's not... It's not consumed by the process. You just have to learn what they are. So I have no idea where we pick these up. These might have just been ones the twins know. I guess we'd apply this to every single one of our guys here. So we'll give this to Calden here. Because the 25% damage could be good and 2% mass charge isn't bad. Sure. We'll do this for all of them, I suppose. It doesn't seem to cost us anything, so why the hell not? 
And we have one more party member to find, it looks like. Don't know who that is yet. Looks like a guy with a beard. Spotty says, I'm unbanned on Dark Souls 3. That's good news. That's good news. Congratulations. Alright, so now everyone has a boost. Let's get moving. Inspettore, if you don't mind me asking, you're awfully familiar with the owner of the tavern. He was a close friend of my family's when I was younger. Before I joined the Portieri, he shared his purse with us. Helped us get through rough times. That's sweet. And naive. Most Contadani can't even fend for themselves. What sense is there in sharing? What sense is there in not? Keeping everything to yourself. What's the use? Ah, the Stone Cold Girl finally shows a sliver of a heart. It just doesn't make sense. Fair enough. The Bleeding Beetle, it's a great name. Gotta, gotta go for the alliteration whenever you open a tavern. The street to get you to the Bleeding Beetle's down this way, sir. Too small for the coach. We'll be waiting for you here, whenever you're done. Spotty's asking, what's this game about? Uh, this is a... Shit, man. There's so much going on right now, I don't know how to sum up. Basically, we're an inspector looking to delve into the depths of a magical world. Um, there are these masks that grant us power, but unfortunately, no one knows how to make them. Except, someone's maybe possibly found out how to do it. We just have to figure out how to get there. And I don't think that even explained anything about that at all. Basically, it's like Baldur's Gate set in uh, 15th century Italy. Look at it that way. The actual plot itself is a little bit... Um, it's just going on. Right now, we're going to go to the Bleeding Beetle to deal with a... Uh, deal with a man who it's knows a lot of things. Ahead. He's possibly like the mafia boss, but we'll see. That's him, the one with the flute. He's good. Among the city's best. We should get closer. Okay. No other little notes of anything we need to look at here. And they're letting us go off to the side here. Oh, there's another mask right there. Hold on, I'm gonna go pick that up. Nice. Raw Masterine collected. Okay. So I must have missed a whole bunch of them. I just wasn't exploring properly. Alright, here we go. By the ages. What do you see? There, over by the side. That man with the guards. That's Isander Urshel. He's the leader of the Salt Breeders. One of the smaller Masquerina factions that existed before the war. Apparently, they're still around. I've heard of them. Getting Contadoni addicted to stone salt, then charging exorbitantly. They've practically robbed hundreds of families of their stability. And nothing's been done about it. And nothing will be done. Not today, at least. Remember who we're here for. Yeah, stay focused. Stay thank on target. Thank you, thank you. He's getting away. Marshal, don't do anything. And off she goes. Fiery as always. You! Stay where you are! What are you doing? What? Protect me! Oh, great. Hold your ground! Alright, here we go. Okay, so she just blew some shit up. The guy, the guy she was after got away anyway, so nice move there, lady. Alright, well, we have a mage over here. And a bunch of melee people. You know what, lady? You want to deal with this? You deal with this, all right? We're going to deal with the mage to make sure you don't get sniped. Let's go. Got to deal with the shield first. Um, the trade wind, which isn't actually going to help. Void isn't going to help much either. We can dervish back over there, so we'll just wait for this to drop. Oh, I got poisoned all to hell. Yep. Uh, what do you know? Tiziana is going to fall. You know what? I'm going to let her just so she learns the lesson. I mean, I don't know if she's actually going to learn, but there we go. Okay. Loot person down. And Tiziana's down, which makes sense. Yeah. You're not going to be able to do anything there. All right. Did you learn your lesson, lady? What in all the legacies do you think you're doing? 
That man is Isander. I know who he is, damn it. He has a contract on his head for blood's sake. You mean that? Forget it. I see you're with Amadea. You're here for the bloodless? Yes. Then you will listen to me. Isander is a large man with a love for large spaces. He will not take any of the alleyways, and neither will you. What do you mean by? You will follow him, chase him, and he will send his guards to stop you. Be a dear and take care of them for me. What do you do? Slip through the shadows. If you do your job right and keep him running down the wide street, I'll be able to take care of him once he's alone. I repeat, alone. That means... No guards, we get it. Good. Then go before you lose him. All right, off you go. Be a distraction. Tut tut. All right. I guess we're distraction fodder. Let's do it. Hello, we're here to chase you very loudly and through the streets. Stop! There's three of them. We can take them on. Protect me. All right, here we go. Okay, what do we got? We got Bubble Boy Batter. Some great names here. Salt Breather Rupter, I think that's the mage equivalent. And the Bubble Boy Batter. Okay, I think we gotta take care of the Rupter first. Um, you, being the tank, you are gonna go after the melee guys. Us, being less tanky, will go after this guy. Uh, there. Yes, okay, good. Light will cut you down! <laughs> Okay, didn't really want you to dervish there, Cicero, but I understand it. Uh, void there is not a horrible idea, actually. And then you can trade wins with Tiziana afterwards and swap your positions, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Okay, Void there, nicely done. And then I can't trade, I don't have the, I don't have the magic for it. Shit. Alright, Tiziana, can you get over here and attack this guy? I have no idea what the hell that is, but it can't be good. Uh, Cicero's unfortunately in a bad way. Lightning Blade costs zero, so hit... I guess hit the Bubble Boy. Oh, whoops, I right-clicked there. Did not do that, there should have been a left-click. There you go. And Amadea. Just attack things, I think you're fine. <laughs> I don't really have much in the way. I guess hit the bubble boy over here. Do that. Okay. Could be worse. We're currently in the middle of a big old... Oh, they just summoned a couple of little beasts, didn't they? That sucks. The salt breather is almost down, though. Please tell me you're going to take down the salt breather. And then I think everybody else just needs to get out of these little red circles of doom. So over here, guys. Over here. That was not necessarily great, but I'll take what I can get. Salt Breather should be down now. We don't have some little summon fire guards, but that happens. No, Salt Breather Rupper is still up. Okay, well, you're right next to him, Amadea. Take him out. Um, I can trade one to somebody, but I don't see how this helps. Oh, they're going to explode. Uh, that's fine. Let him blow up. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, he is not down yet? How is he not down yet? Can you wreck him, please, somebody? I can trade with him, but I can't do much. No, all right. There we go, he went out. Uh, Xander's gonna drop, this guy's going to explode. Cicero, can you get over on this side so you're not in the way of the explosion? That'd be great, and you get over here. Just scratch. And you are hurt. There we go. Don't let him get away. Uh, you want to chase him? There you go. Remember, loudly through the streets. Stop! I can't run. We have to fight. Okay, same come. exact problem we had before, I guess. It says HP eighty nine percent. Really? Didn't we just beat him down a little bit more than that? But whatever. Um. So same thing. I think we go for the salt breather. And I think I, everybody this time. Do everybody this time. Everybody goes for the salt breather. He's a pain in the ass. He summons those exploding guys. It's a bad time. Uh, do you want to actually go over there, Amadea? Do you want to fight? Be good. 
Okay, good. He's taking three damage from the shield, and he's out. All right, great. Did still manage to call in some fire guards, and they are going to explode, but I think if everyone goes for this salt breather instead, we'll be in good shape. All of our shields are... Well, actually, her shield's the only one down. Okay, fine. Some explosions, no big. Definitely want to take this one out, though. Over here. Oh, Sister is gonna die here. Um, here, trade wind. Swap with Tiziana. Oh, he didn't actually do that. Should have been trade wind, not. Oh, shit. Well, he did trade wind eventually. It did happen. Go hit this guy. He's trying to get away. It's not gonna work. There you go. This guy now. This guy. Okay, sure. Okay, it's a little close. It's a little close. But it worked out. He's running again. Great. Keep falling. Right where we want him to be. There, ahead. And he gets sniped. Going somewhere? You just <sighs> choke him to death? Well, well, Lysander. You've been a tough rat to catch. I did nothing wrong. Oh, how entertaining the words of the ignorant can sometimes be. You consider ruining the lives of hundreds of Contadani nothing wrong. They came to me for the salt. They wanted it. I never forced it on them. No. You simply lied to them. Told them it was medication. And then you watched their lives fall apart in front of you as you grew fat upon their innocence. I... I won't do it again. You have my word. I'll Bullshit. give them back the money, I swear. Bullshit. A kind offer. How unlike you, Isander. People change. Hmm. Go then. The Laboris will keep its ear out for you. If we hear that you have not been true to your word. Hunt me again, I'll say. A fair deal. Off you go then. Really? No. Time for the real you show. Think you can threaten me? Can you trick? You can do it. Maybe. So much cleaner for the heart when they fall upon their own blade. Pretty quick with a flute. You knew he was going to try that. Of course I did. Stick around in my vein of work long enough, and you learn that people like that never change. But the lot of you clearly haven't been in this vein for very long. Silence, bloodling. And you are in a position to say such a thing. You who ruined the entire plan. Did not. If you even had a plan. You're nothing but... Isander Urschel is a man of habit and a man of fine hearing. After every strong performance he witnesses, he retreats to his abode in the dim way, intent on scribing out the music. This is the only time you will ever catch him without his guards, the time when his neck is most ripe for the cutting. So yes, O oh Golden One, I had a plan. But come, enough talk of the dead. You've helped me clear a contract. I suppose introductions are at least necessary? My name is Vasco Tessitore, bloodling of the Laboris Salus. And I... Inspiratore Cicero Gavar of the Registry, Amadea Invidius, Initiate of the Dieci Sovrani, and Lumbering Cow, Mistake of the Luca Infinita. <laughs> How dare you! Hold, Marshal. We've come with a purpose. Do not forget that. We need to speak with the Bloodless. I'd guessed as much when I saw Amadea with you. Though I am curious to ask, such strange company you're keeping, my dear. Well, the winds of change are blowing strong. And the paths of the supple carried along. I see. Well... Oh, don't stop there. I'm... I'm sorry? Certainly you'll not quote one half of the song without the other. The branches of death lull to its beat, and in their wake do the sleepers weep. Oh, truly, what a choice of companion on the day. You... know the song? My brother taught it to me, yes. It seems you've forgotten who I am. I'm afraid I had. Excuse me, 
What is going on? Oh, just code words. Nothing, Marshal. Just exchanging words about an old ditty. But enough of that. I'm sure we'll have more time to talk later, yes? Of course. We'll head back to the Estiguary. We can all speak a little bit more then. And eventually to the Bloodless? A question, Bloodling, before we talk business. I, sir? You sing songs and tell tales of the lives of others, yes? That I do. I also eat and drink and sometimes sleep. Have you ever heard of a young boy who went by the name of Jabs before? His mother had been a dirge in the Laboris as well, Talia Victus. Hmm. Not names that chime in my memory, no. Why? Mm, uh, it sounds strange, but you remind me a little of him. <laughs> he must be quite the fetching man. Oh, if you were alive, perhaps. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It has been enough years for that wound to close. Uh, forget I ever brought it up. Hmm. But the fact that he did bring it up means it's probably him. My, my, what a beauty. Already you're taking me to the good places in Spatore. Marshal, if you'd watch him, I don't want him breaking anything inside. Does that include his face? Yeah, arguable. Why didn't you tell me earlier? What did you expect me to say? Hello, I was a mask runner. I hope you don't mind. Maybe. When you use mask runner code phrases in front of me, that's basically what you're saying anyway. <laughs> Why did you suggest the bloodless? Surely you know Alessandra is. It's been years since I left the Malacate. He's the best lead we have. Why did you leave? Reasons. All right. I won't pry. You should pry. What? Most of the time when people ask why I left the city, I usually feel like introducing them to my fist, so... Yes, I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Besides, it's not why you're here anyway. Grown up, You're right. right. It's not. What? We'll continue this another time. Kind of nice for himself not to realize, not to be hypocritical. Enough, Mariner. What's going on? Ah, Inspettore. Perhaps you can be of assistance in this matter. Why did you bring him back here? We are to speak to him in the privacy of our lodging. I see no issue with that. Honestly, neither do I. Do not speak to me of honesty. You work for the bloodless. You don't even understand the word. Calden, what is wrong with you? With me? This man is a tool the Bloodless has used to spread his tides of corruption through the city. Why do you bring him into this house? To get your brother back. Now sit. We are having civil conversation. I'm exciting, I know. Now is not the time for glibness. Uh, all right, all right. right over here, man. The Bloodless has numerous contracts, each with varying difficulty. It is my task to judge which contract is worthy of the price you demand. Two questions are all we wish to ask. Ask away. I do not believe you should be privy to these questions. Agreed. Your tongue is far too loose to trust. Ha! Understand this, if nothing else. I have not survived as an agent of the Bloodless by dancing through the streets, tongue wagging. If this discussion is to progress any further, you must first pay me with trust. The first step into the mire. <laughs> Silence, Mariner. You are seated in the quiet chair. You are not allowed to speak unless you come and sit at the speaking table. Rules of civilized conversation. I like that. I remember so, that. What shall it be then, Inspettore? We wish to ask him the following questions. Cicero! Chair! <laughs> the Mask Runners have a figure in their ranks they call the Herald. Where can we find him? All right. And? Where can we find Lysandra Rorick? Hmm. For those two questions, I have a contract in mind. Perhaps the Mariner would like to be here to hear it in its entirety? I can hear you fine from here. Fine. It is a matron. What? I can hear you fine from here. <laughs> Explain yourself. Did someone say something? Yep. Gotta be the adult. Gotta walk up to the table, sit with the rest Explain. of them. Explain. <sighs> the contract has been placed on the matron of the withering mast. Matron Beneva? 
The Withering Mast is a ward of the Sorelle known for taking in single mothers with little hope left in the world. And in doing so has only helped dozens of mothers and their families. No. She has abused the women. Plunged them into a life of prostitution. Their children are not spared that fate. There are some in this city that would pay heavy crescents for a child. Liar! You do well to understand how seriously the Laboris take their contracts, Mariner. If the intelligence says that she is guilty, be assured that you will find no evidence otherwise. And if we fulfill this contract, the Bloodless will meet us? The Bloodless will give you your answers. Yes. She is a matron of the Sorelle, Cicero. A matron of my guild! I need to see for myself if this is true. I'm going. No. You have a vested interest in this, Mariner. But I... And seeing another Sorelle asking about her ward, it'll raise flags, don't you think? Oh, you're right. I'll take along two of the others. Any more, and it'll be suspicious. We'll await your decision downstairs, then. God damn it. So I can't... Even though we recruited five people, I can't Quite take Quite a five. temper back there. The man brings dark tides, and I do not like it. What do you have against him? Some burdens are better borne on the shoulders of many. Mine are not such burdens. But I appreciate the thought. Razatov is somewhere out there, and I need your mind on this. Fully. I can see dark clouds in your eyes. You are drifting from this investigation. I don't want that. Whatever these burdens of yours are, if you ever think sharing them might help... The others are waiting for you. <sighs> Just remember my offer. Alright, well, that sucks, but... Who the hell are we gonna take? There's probably nothing up here. Yep, nothing up here. Okay, so... Uh, Tiziana's pretty good tank, so I think we should definitely take her. Cicero! Ven was telling me we had a special guest. Livia! I missed you last night. I was out with Damien. We had some errands to run. Shopping for Seho's sojourn. It's tomorrow, after all. Damien? Oh, Cicero. It's been that long, hasn't it? I'm afraid I'm missing something. Cicero, meet Damien Marimbus. Our son. Pa, is this... That's him, all right. Wow. Pleasure, sir. Real pleasure. What awful stories has your father told you about me? Awful? You're kidding, sir. Nothing short of amazing they are. Oh, Ven. I speak the truth. What can I say? I'm sorry for taking your time, Cicero. You're busy, I'm sure. And we have preparations to make for the festival, but... It was nice seeing you again. And you as well, Livia. You won't be going off from here anytime soon, will you? <laughs> no. We'll be seeing you around, Cicero. Don't worry. Excellent. Then until next time. Okay. Not entirely sure why we want to see that. So, found anything? I wasn't able to do very much without the proper tools. Lavia's got them from the market, though, so I'll be able to conduct further tests now, but uh, nothing so far. Hmm. Well, if you do find anything, let me know, all right? Of course. Okay, mystery rocks remain mystery rocks. Okay. Um, this might be... This might be the choice right here. I can only take two of them with me. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what he's capable of. I guess we can look at our skills. Yep, okay, so he's the last one that we can recruit. So we should definitely uh, learn that. And reduce his threat, sure. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, so he's got two skills on him. He's got Wind Burst. Alpha shot deals 15 base damage. Okay, so he's definitely a ranged character. And Bellow. Blast of air the target location, dealing 25 base damage all enemies in 3 meters. 3 meters is not that far, but okay. Also got Requiem. 
Channel spirits the target location and deal 8 base damage per second to all enemies within 4 meters. 8 is not a whole hell of a lot. But it's 8 per second. How long does it last, though? Here's an enemy attack speed. Skill cooldowns of all enemies inside Requiem get reduced by 0.3. Oh, that could be pretty good. Um, yeah, let's do that. Increases radius by 1 meter damage per 2. Okay, by 2 per second. As I said, Requiem recovers 3% of maximum focus whenever they auto-attack enemies. Um, that's actually good. The focus is what that yellow bar is. That protects your health bar. So, yes, definitely invigorate some people. That's not a great plan. Your spirit damage by 2 per second improves upgrade effect. Sure. So, basically, just really made Serenade all in right here. We can probably afford a couple more attacks here. We can also get hit one more attack. What's Cadence do? Channels orbs of compressed air that travel in a single direction. When an orb passes through an enemy, that enemy takes 15 base damage. Not a whole lot. Void, we're already kind of using with Cicero, so I'm not going to bother with that. And Windswarm already... Well, we did use that with Cicero. I'm not exactly impressed, though. The the summoned squirrels just do not give enough damage. But Cadence could be good. It's not a whole lot of damage, but I might take it anyway. All right, and then... Every now and then the tag is activated. Enemies within 60 meters become silenced. Unfortunately, none of these are giving me elemental... Oh, there we go. Air tag right there. Wait, any elemental tag? any elemental tag. That's actually potentially really good. It has to be inside the increment and the incapacitation field, no doubt, but still that could be really good. Elemental tags are going left right and center here, so sure. Bello. Receive an air tag. Well, that could work. He could place the air tags and Cicero could detonate them. That could that could possibly work. And then Cadence, or passes an ally, ally guys 5% of maximum focus, and heals for 3% of maximum health. Okay, not a lot, but okay. And then one more orb. No, I like this instead. And then one skill point remaining, which we can't afford, right? Yeah, everything else will cost three, two, but still too many. Okay. Everyone else only has one skill point of remaining, which we, oh, no, Calvin has five. I guess it's been a while since I've used him. Um... Blood radius. Uh, average total maximum seems pretty good. Or he just recovers all of his focus. That's actually probably better. He is the tank and he is getting hurt on the regular, so that's probably good. So cooldowns. Or we get you a new ability, but I'm kind of happy with the abilities you have. So I think we just focus on... Yeah, get some focus regeneration, I think. There you go. You have five points remaining. If we're taking Tiziana, and she's going to be our tank, let's increase your damage reduction for sure. And Bulwark Master is not too bad. We just do this. Fireball effect rate is by 60%, rotation rate is by 100%. Okay, I could see that being okay. Get taunting duration. I just want to make sure that she doesn't get smacked down like Calden's been doing. Maybe Bulwark Master. Or we do Focus Regen. Yeah, let's do Focus Regen. Okay. Everybody else. Oh, I mean, Amadea has some stuff in here too. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Increase damage by 1% per 1% of Amadea's remaining focus. The more focus she has left, the greater the damage. Um, kind of okay. Fissure increases distance, and then she has burrow. Um, the illusion explodes. The illusion has taunt on him, right? Conjures an illusion which generates high threat before burrowing underground. While underground, she clears all threat gain on herself. Okay, yeah, we could definitely make the illusion explode. I like that idea. Let's do that. Okay. I think, yeah, Vasco just has one. Cicero just has one. Okay. I think we choose... I mean, definitely the tank, right? Come with me. 
So, how is Fabio taking the news? He doesn't plan to stand in your way, if that's what you mean. He's as interested in the nature of them as we are. Do you think you'll say the same once we find out what they actually do? <laughs> you ask when you already know the answer. Right. I was just hoping, I suppose. Look forward, Inspiratore. We have work to do. Okay, that was not what I thought that was going to be about. I thought it was going to be, you should come with me. But no, it's just going to be talking to each one. Okay, I can do that. Sure, let's do that. Omadea. Not now. I wasn't going to talk about that. I was going to ask about how you knew the bloodling. Same thing. You met him as a mask runner? I thought you said you weren't going to talk about it. I, I just need to know if we can trust him. We can. All right. If you say so. All right, easily enough. And then finally, our new friend here. Settled in already, I see. It's quite the lovely place you have, really. And quite the motley crew as well. <laughs> Don't I know it. It's not every day you see drops of colors in such close proximity. Golds and blues and browns. Makes me wonder though, what strange reasons glue this lot together? Perhaps, if you do your job, you might find out. Hmm. Yes, of course. We'd best get on with it then, no? Alright, I guess I choose here to see which party members gather forth. Or they just come with me automatically, I suppose. Okay, there's something over here. You can enter the training grounds when you're at the estuary. Okay, another tutorial. Like, what are we? Eight episodes in, so roughly about seven hours. That's crazy talk. Reset your skills and test new skills at the training grounds. Oh, you can reset your skills. Okay. We could do some test battles. I really... I don't want to do that right now. Do we have any more master inks or anything to put in here? I don't think so, right? No. No more engravings. Okay. And no more inks that I know about. All right. My guess is now that we're in chapter, or act two, I should say, uh, we should probably be starting to gather other things. Here we go, sir. All touched up. Oh, he gave us a new mascherine. Nice. You leave team mask me assign the mask menu by pressing M. All right, let's look at the masks. Oh yeah, he totally. Okay, so these are for Cicero. So right now, when we use Eye of the Storm, we get immune to these things. Or we can do Windstorm. Conjures a gate around the castle for 20 seconds and knocks back enemies and back and deals 10 damage. That's okay-ish. Can a Stampede of Lightning Horses deal 60 damage? Any okay, that's just fantastic. I totally want Lightning Horses. That sounds great. I'll take that, please. What about his mask? Aura that taunts nearby enemies for 10 seconds, or... Invokes the power of water, giving all allies 50% reduction. Um, that's still probably the best one. I think you keep that one, Calden. Not that we're using you right now, anyway. Tiziana, I thought we had one for you. We do. So right now you have Rebirth. War protection that lasts for 10 seconds. If you take fatal damage while the aura is active, heals for 75% of maximum health. And unleashes a fire wave that deals 20% damage. Oh, man, I wish I had known that. We're taking advantage of that earlier. Or Chakra. There's a slow-moving fireball in a single direction, burning all enemies to touch for 15 damage. Eh, I think think you keep with Rebirth. Till we find another one. Amadea, we do have another one for you. So you currently have, right, Quicksand. The rooting is kind of helpful. Or Kilgan Affinity. Summons two melee Kilgan Grunts to fight for the castle for 20 seconds. Huh. I do like the idea of summoning for extra damage. Sure, you get pets. Why not? And finally, Vasco, we don't have any other masks for him. So he's just got an ability to reduce his threat and increase his movement speed. So he can get away really fast. Okay. That's just all right. Still, though, new masks for a couple of people anyway. Where to, sir? A Sorelle ward. The withering mast. Okay, here we go. Select your party. So I'm definitely taking the tank. No question. Um, I mean, air plus air could be good, but I kind of want to see what she can do in fight, so we'll do with this. 
All right, so this is a game proper it's now. It's rather curious that we're traveling to a Sorelli ward without our Sorelli. There are some times when familiarity is less than wanted. Now is one of those times? Unfortunately so. Mm, even the best of the guild still has shadows, doesn't it? So the master showing the loading screen is no longer the mask that we're wearing, I believe. Though I don't know if that's going to show up on our character at all. We'll see. We'll be here, sir. You say that, and then you immediately rode off, so you're not actually going to be here at all. All right, let's go pick up some lore. I'm not going to read this right now, but we'll read this later. Yeah, just go ahead and gather that. Thank you. Okay, so I want to go this way for story reasons. Is there any other lore about, or maybe, I don't know, a stray masquerine somewhere? Nope. Okay. Story reasons it is. Let's go. You guys should probably put on your mask, just saying. Alright, this is it. In we go. Guarded by some of the members of the guild, I see. They're just gonna let us in? Okay, not so much guarded by as watched by? Okay, go ahead and grab that. And these guys are mariners, so the origin should be pretty obvious. An inspitore. It is rare to see a member of the White Spire in a blue ward. It is brave of you to come. Brave? It is only brave if there is a reason to be afraid. Yeah. And there isn't, of course. Huh. My name is Matron Beneva. And mine you needn't know. Ah, oh, of course. I understand. Well, I shouldn't keep you too long then. It seems the lot of you have a purpose here. I'd best leave you to it. I'm surprised she didn't recognize you. Whatever it is, we need to find evidence of what she's up to. The women here should be able to tell us more. Right. Confirm the intelligence first. Are these women actually trapped in a life of prostitution? They're going inspectory. Oh, she probably thinks we're here to be customers. Well, let's see if we can discuss any things with them here. Excuse me, miss. Have you a moment to spare? What do you want? My name is Cicero. Sable. And your child? Why are you here, Inspitore? Do you spend all your afternoons at this table? Some. Others I spend in my room. In those days that you spend out here, what do you do exactly? I do not see very many things for one to busy oneself with. The comfort of peace and solitude. The nursing hall sometimes gets noisy. Sasha doesn't sleep well there. That is considerate. Of course. I would do anything for my daughter. Truly? If you have an answer that you are attempting to goad out of me, ask the right questions. Point. You are a direct woman. There is no room in this world for subtlety. When you need to survive, you cannot spare thoughts for the game of questions. You ask, you answer, you move on, and treasure the moments in between. Is that what life is like in here? Ask, answer, move on? To the next question, the next meeting, the next customer? You are just like them. Sable, please. You're not an inspiratory. You're a beast. You are mistaken. I have not come here to... Sable, again? If the matron learns that you are displeasing our guests... It is all right, Sorelli. There is no issue here. Well, if there is anything, inspiratory, anything at all, I will be right over there. I have a feeling these people you are have like spirit. guards. Your daughter has been very quiet. You said that I was mistaken. Prove it. Tell me you are not of their kind. I am not. By all the ages, you have my word in my heart. Then help me. Please. Aside from killing everybody in the room, not sure... Oh, okay, that's a stone? Your daughter. Beneva. Lost legacies. 
Will you help me, Inspettore? Yes. Yes, I will. Then follow me. Okay. Everything is fine, Asha. Just fine. Oh, and Asha, would you please let Divina know that my room is looking a little lonely at the moment? Okay. The hell are we going? You don't mind if I take a small... Nope, can't take a detour. Alright, never mind. No exploring for me. Sable, what is going on here? Routine, Inspitore. Cicero, please. I'm not acting within the authority of the Registry. Not now. Cicero. The women in this banco are put on rotation. Every ten day we must meet our quota of customers and only then can we see our babes again. In the meantime, we are given that. To remind us of why we must work. When we have our darlings back, they lock us in a room beneath the ground until our names appear on the roster again. It will change, Sable. Now, I came with two others. I need- It has been settled. Ah, Divina. Pleasure you could join Cicero, us. Cicero, what- Oh, alright. What? All right, so much for Davina. If this plan goes wrong, she will not have to lie when she tells them she was no part of it. She and her babe will be safe. I did not hit her hard, so we don't have much time. The passage to the chambers beneath are down the hall. Beneva keeps those who are not on duty on the first level beneath the earth. But there are more levels beneath. When we are on duty, she takes our babes and descends further. I don't know what awaits us beyond. I've never been deeper myself. Now, let's go. Sure, let's dive into a dank, dark, dusty dungeon beneath a... I don't know. Harem? What do you call it when they're all... Okay, I don't want to go that way. Do I want to go down the corner? Yep, now they let me go. Okay, that's why they didn't let me explore before, because it was plot relevant. Gotcha. Uh, hello? She has taken all three of them into her room. Hmm. That cape is just cloth over the shoulder of a mortal. A mortal thirsty for flesh. But come, her job is done. It is time for us to retrieve Sasha for her. Sasha. I think this is going to end up in a fight. Oh, very likely into a fight, yes. All right, here we go. Wanted in the episode, we're not ready for that yet. Uh, hello? I thought we were gonna go into a fight, but maybe not. Okay, the we're stairs go down are just beyond this door. I understand. Cicero, they're likely guarded. Not for long. And woe to the men who stand for the foul. Yep, not about to be guarded any longer. What are you doing here? For the light! For the light. Uh, let's see. The clarions are going to be a problem for sure. Unfortunately, there being two of them, I think we've got to just focus on the big guy. Big lady. Whatever. Um, so that's you. You're going to go there as well. All right. Everybody attack the middle guy. Go, go, go. Oh, okay. Um, everybody out of the big area of doom and explosions. Because apparently it's what's happening right now. Okay, never mind. Uh, you just move on? Alright, you got hit anyway. And out. Nice, nice, nice. It's heating up. Oh, these guys are so overwhelmed right now. Um, Fissure, right here. Go. Uh... There. Nice. That was easy. It's through this latch. How do you know this? You've never been here before, right? 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 
living quarters. My guess is not a whole lot of living goes down here. But that'll wait till next time. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Masquerade on PC Universe or PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.